Welcome everybody. Got your seven o'clock match here. This is the hot seat match in the eight ball division. Got Jesse Engel and James Arenas. These are the only two undefeated players now here at the US bar table. They've decided to relag. Well, James hit his much, they both hit a lot better. All right, James won that leg. Winner of this match will be will secure their place in the finals tomorrow evening. The loser will have to come back and win one more semifinal. Jesse just came off a thrilling hill hill win over Shane Van Boning. Brett Baker. I'm not sure who's going to be joining me in the booth here, but we'll have somebody here in just a few minutes. Well, James broke but scratched, so that's going to bring Jesse to the table with ball in hand. Can't see him taking anything other than stripes here. 12 has the one blocked, and all the other stripes are out in the open. Well, I think that was the smart shot, is to go ahead and start with that. Now all the stripes are open. They all have a pocket. Looks like he may have to go to the bottom right with that 10 ball.
Hey, welcome Gennaro Vasquez back to the booth. How are you doing? Well, not too bad. Looked like you were taking care of some stuff out on the floor, so I didn't know you were coming back over or not. Well, last match, we saw Jesse Ingle win very close at yeah, against yeah, Shane Van Boning. That uh, the shot that Jesse made, he uh, left himself kind of a weird shot on the eight ball, but he played it three rails into, oh, wow. <laughs> into the corner pocket. It was, uh, had about half ball played it three rails into the corner pocket. That was a pretty amazing shot. Well, he has picked this rack apart like a surgeon after a scratch on the break by James. So He's got a pretty good cut on this ball, doesn't he? Left himself a little more angle, I think, than he needed to or wanted to. But Well, the, the trick here is negotiating the shape for the eight ball, cutting this ball with enough can, speed. But Yeah, I think he can get back to about where he is now he by go kill it off of two rails here. These guys kill balls, kill the cue ball pretty well. Much and like that. I think he might be exactly where he was before. It was just short of that side pocket. And now he's straight in. And Jesse takes the first. The first game. Yeah, breaking and scratching. Really, uh, you know, it's such a small margin <laughs> for error in these matches. That, yeah. You know, that's uh, oftentimes, you know, not a, a good situation. Arenas, one of two players rated over 800 playing in this tournament, of course. Shane Van Boning, the other. Yeah, and there's only, I want to say, 11 or 12 players in the world that are over 800, so. I know James is just out of the top 10 with an 801. Number 10 has got an 802. <laughs> but that's pretty sporty. 801 yeah. is pretty sporty. Especially at 25 years old. Well, these solids look pretty good. Yeah, they do, especially because the 11 is pinned over on the rail by the 5. Almost certainly will shoot the one ball first. Then it's pretty much his choice on whether he wants to shoot the balls he down here or the yeah, five. I think he was looking to see if uh, he could shoot the five that from where it's sitting. It's close. That's a pretty good break. You come out uh, very nicely on that one. Now I think I'd take the three. Just yep, three ball, then out. the two ball. I think you'll go three, two, seven, six, eight.
Who taught you how to count? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Three, two, yep. seven, six, eight. Sounds about right. Call me. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what sounds like we're giving out a phone number. Jesse has done well here at these bar table championships. I'm not sure how he did in the 10 ball, but I know he was third place in the nine ball. And he's guaranteed top three in the eight ball. Yeah, he's been playing well down here. I think Shane could have guaranteed himself the all-around had he won that last match. I'm doing the math, and I think if Skyler Woodward was to win, he had he had to finish in the top three to beat him. And uh, the win over Jesse would have guaranteed that. So he's going to have a little work to do yet. Well, I think if he, all he has to do is win his next match, and that and would he still would put be him in the top three. Well, that would put him in the top four, which I think if Skyler won, they would tie for the, oh, the all around. Wow. So still things to be decided out there. Now I wonder if it's him and Skyler that are going to be playing on the losers. I mean, I haven't seen the brackets, but it would be something if he goes over. And Let's see what happens on the second break here. Scratch on the first one. Gets a nice little hop off the side and definitely has pocketed some balls. Uh, at first glance, it sure looks like solids are going to be sitting quite well. Definitely the most open. Uh, you can get down on the end rail, the stripes begin to look pretty good. Yeah. I would take. I'm pretty sure he's going to go solids here. Oh, he's shooting the one ball. Jesse Engel up the first two games in this race to five. Yeah, James is looking pretty good here to get his first game over on the board.
trying to figure out when and how he wants to shoot <laughs> the seven ball there. So I was looking at the brackets and Shane Van Boning and Skylar Woodward are on opposite sides of the bracket on the loser side. Mm. They would pull, if they both win their next match, which I believe is at 2.30 tomorrow afternoon, they would play the fourth place game. That could be exciting. They would be tied for the all around if Skyler was to go on and win. Wow. So what would happen then? Would they split it or they yeah. would? Uh, yeah, they split it. Well, he, James comes back and runs that out pretty, pretty cleanly and- uh, He's on the board. Absolutely. These races to five, you don't want to get too far behind. Well, and just one critical shot <laughs> away from, you know, really like tipping things in the other guy's favor, kind of changing the momentum. Yeah, a lot of times these matches are decided by one loose shot, uh, one position error, one dry break. I mean, it's not always, but. Dry. There's a couple of balls right up around the head spot, too. Yeah, you can get it out of there. Both balls sitting at about equally, I think. Maybe solids are just a, well, that two balls sitting in kind of a rough spot, isn't it? Stripes might actually be sitting a little better with the exception of the 15 ball, which is kind of blocked by the four, but there might be some opportunities for him to get that yeah, ball out of there I was too. Say you've got the nine and the ten though that can you can move the fifteen with. He's looking to see if does that eight. Sure looks like it does, but yeah, from here it does. He's looking at it awful hard though. <coughs> Well, there there might come a point where if he sits on the 13 ball, he, he might be able to get on the 13 ball just right. He might be able to kind of nudge that eight ball out of there anyway, if it doesn't go cleanly. He's really thinking about this one, isn't he? Well, that's a big game. He's yeah, down by is. one. decided to go ahead and take the stripes.
Well, it really, I mean, I think that tuba was the big determining factor. Had yeah. that been a little more accessible, he, he probably would have went well, solid. Because he can shoot the 12, come around, and then the 13 goes, in, or the 13 goes in the side. But I don't think that. I, I think he has how to shoot the 10 ball here. Oh. It's not Beyond straight the in, but it's uh it's a pr pretty I think he's probably going to shoot it though. Yeah. And uh, he's not going to get a much better chance at it than, <laughs> than that. Hit it. Like the champion that he is. I was gonna say they shoot those balls so just like they're hangers. Well, he probably wants to address that 12 ball pretty soon here. Oh, I think he'll do it right here. <laughs> well, I don't know. He might shoot the might 11. Might want to shoot that 11 ball yeah, first. Yeah, he can shoot the 11 first. I was thinking 12, come around, 13, 11, 8. But oh, no, he can just yeah, come around two 12, rails. Yeah. Come around two rails. He wants to be somewhere just this side of the side pocket, I think. So there's a nice downward angle. Much like that. I guess we're going to find out if that eight ball goes after all. <laughs> it does. He might have been looking at the two. I don't know. All righty. We're at 2-2. Two, two. Well, so far, both players winning the game off the other's break. So this is a match that will help determine who goes to the hot seat match, right? This is the hot seat This match. is the hot seat Yep, match. this is the hot seat. Winner secures their place in the finals. Looking around the room in the background, we can see Oscar. Yeah, I see Oscar out there playing. I see, um, uh, I see Amar back there playing each other. Also see the, some of the women's matches going on out there. Wow, what a break. I believe the top eight will be coming back tomorrow. Now, what is the first shot here? If he can make the 10 ball, I'm not sure if he can make the 10 ball. But if he can. Mm -hmm. From that vantage point, it looks like it goes, but hard to say. Well, he broke up so wide open. Goodness, that was a, a nice break. Comes out with a shot here.
Okay, he'll shoot this 11 oh, in case you're come across for the... In case you're wondering, yeah, the 10 ball went. <laughs> uh, come back across, play the that down into the same corner. Well, this is looking pretty nice from here, isn't it? Yeah, I don't see any real problems. My guess is he this would want to get on the 12, yeah, 13 as soon as he can. I would want to get on the 12 and then shoot the 14, 13, 8, or, or you could go 12, 13, well, 14, 8, or, you know. Pretty much dead on the 12. Little cut angle, but he can draw that without hitting anything. Leave himself with the 13 ball if he wants it. which it appears that he probably would from here. He can draw it back just a little bit, get that nice downward angle so he can play the ball on the side and then leave himself with the eight ball. Draws it back maybe half a foot. He's perfect. And there you go. Well, quick work of that rack. And James Arenas takes a three to two lead. Well, once he was able to make that ball on the side, the mystery of <laughs> yeah was kind of gone from that rack. But um, as I was Bill and I were talking about in that first rack, you know, you see a shot where a player, you know, of this level, Jesse, and Shane, and, and, you know, James Arenas, and they shoot that first shot and get the breakout or something, and then all of a sudden, it's like things mostly become crystal clear and like, yeah. oh, okay, so here's how it's going to happen. Yeah, with the amateurs, there's still a lot of uh, guesswork. <laughs> <laughs> Some mystery involved, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that it often becomes clear after the first shot. These guys pretty much play the entire racket in their head before they take that first shot. You don't see them break and then just kind of start shooting right away. Yeah. They look through the entire rack. And Although there are some players that play at a, an extremely fast pace, you know, like uh, Vinny mm -hmm. Vincent. Yeah. Plays, plays at a very high level at a very fast oh. pace. I know talking with John Schmidt, I'm like, how do you see straight pull patterns as fast as you do? You know, it just to me, it's just phenomenal how fast. You play that many hours, I guess you just. Ooh, okay. got a little lucky there because I think that cue ball was yeah, headed toward the side. Yeah, cue ball got kissed out of the side. And I think that might be the only ball he made. Well, he's got a little congestion over on the right side rail. He's got. I think stripes are really the ones that have the best access to getting the treble ball out of there at 10 ball. And 10 ball, you know, if you clear out the 11, the 10 ball does actually go down to the other corner too. Yeah, I guess it could. He's looking, I think he'd like to just bump that 10 ball out of there. But Might have to play a combination if he wants to play that 11 ball first. Can he hit? Can he make it straight on? No, I guess he can. Oh, 
Now we'll see what he tries to do. Does he shoot the 11 and then try to go into the 10? Looks like he's hitting with a little draw here. Well, he tried it. Hit it out there. It definitely, I don't think it improved the situation. No, it didn't really change. It's a little closer to the rail now, though. Which might not I be think beneficial. He could still cut it up in the uh, he can. top right uh, if he needs to. Um. <clears throat> right now, the 15 is kind of stopping the bank shot, I think. But uh, There's some other potential. He could cut the nine ball and kind of come back, try to come back into the 510 if he really wanted to. Well, he was kind of looking at that. The key would be to hitting neither of them too flush because then right. they'll just stay where they are. Ideally, you'd like to come off the top side of the five and go into the ten and just bump it in front of the side pocket. But well, he's going to shoot the 14. I don't think he can draw into those. No, I don't think so. Interesting. Because if he decides to go ahead and try to use the nine ball to break them out now. Yeah, he kind of shot his insurance ball there. Yeah, there's, there's not. Uh, but t to be fair, uh, if, if he leaves that ball there, I mean, he's got with where he was, he kind of had to shoot over a, a ball to cut the nine, which might have yeah. decreased his accuracy yeah. a little bit. Right. Okay, looks like he's going to shoot the 15 in the side. Might go into the 1 and just I a think, little yeah, bit. And I think, yeah, just bump the 1 for shape on the 11. Maybe he's just going to accept he might a just bank on the Or cut on it the down to the other corner. That's well, he's going to run out of balls to get on. <laughs> Well, he's leaving, looks for all intents and purposes, like he's going to leave that for his last object ball before the eight ball. He's pretty straight. Well, he must be looking at the bank then because... Uh, yep, I think he's looking to draw back. He'll bank the 10 and then play the 8 in the lower left corner. I think he wants to come back almost well, to where he is now. He might just shoot it now. That's not well, a bad position. I don't know that I would shoot it now. You're not going to have great shape on the 9. You know, the 5 ball could act as a stopper. I mean, it will be for the 8 ball anyway because if he'd save yeah. that for his other ball... I'd rather be using the five ball to stop it for the eight instead of. <laughs> yeah, I, but, we'll but see. I mean, he's got uh, such he just, a good angle at it now. I mean, that he might just, be why he yeah, elects to do he it. He just called it. Yeah, I, I mean, he has such a good angle now. And if he tries to draw it back, chances are he'd probably have a decent angle at it. But yeah, he just called it. I think he's going to hit that five ball pretty full. Missed. Oh, went long. Well, that was if if he'd been able to pocket that ball, he definitely had shape for the nine. But instead, James Arenas comes up and looking to extend his lead. Jesse doesn't have to see this table again in this match. No, <laughs> I mean I'm not saying he won't, but. This is a pretty open table for James, and then he will be breaking in the next game. So certainly no guarantees that Jesse will get another shot. 
Well, that was, uh, <coughs> you know, the bank shot and trying to hold it for the ball. That was, you know, there was a lot going on there. Uh, he needs it cleaned. Is that what it is? I'm not sure. All right, we got the ball cleaned up. Sorry. <clears throat> oh, that was perfect. I was like, okay, the four and the five lay a little weird, but. So does that. he try to play the seven ball now and then come back down, or does he? Uh, I think I would take this three. Come back down. I would two. go. I would go three one six four eight, but we'll see what. Yeah, they kind of shoot over the four ball a little bit. Yeah, but I don't. Think that's gonna be too much of an issue. It's natural shape to come back down table, so he's sitting pretty good on yeah, that. Yeah, he's he's perfect. Well, pretty clear from here. <laughs> <laughs> one one six four eight. Clears these four balls, he will be on the hill. It almost looks like some kind of practice exercise where you practice <laughs> transitioning down the table and leaving a key ball for the eight ball, doesn't it? Well, when Jesse broke those, we said the 10 and the 5 were the the treble ball, and he just wasn't able to to negotiate. Well, he tried the very first shot. Yeah. Tried on the very first shot to, to go after it and uh, didn't really improve its position at all. In fact, uh, maybe even put it a little closer to rail. Yeah, he knocked the four or whatever it was out of there, but... The, but he didn't, uh, he wasn't able to get the 10 out. And there really wasn't any other good opportunity to. Well, and then he thought about maybe playing the, what was that, the six that was over toward the corner and maybe going into him, but that didn't uh, come to fruition either, so. All righty, here we go. James Aranis with a 4-2 lead, breaking these balls. Interesting, isn't it? The one's got the 10 block, the 12, I don't know if it looks to me like it blocks the seven. Well, if, that's, if it but doesn't, it then then that probably is the shot he'll like to shoot Can he first. shoot the 10 right now? Oof. <laughs> 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 I mean, I'm, I'm looking at this going, okay. The 12, I think, goes, you know, he, you can shoot the 12. 
Well, I mean, I would there. say that I think the 10 probably does go, but that's nobody's favorite shot. Because you're going to run into the one ball, two and... Yeah, but where, where, well, when are you going to get another shot at it, I guess? It's <clears throat> that is true. <laughs> I mean, is it ideal? No, but... Maybe there's a safety here. Probably not thinking safety, but he might. You know, if he can hit that one ball and kind of squeeze it right up against open the ten table, so I don't know. I guarantee he's not thinking safe right now. <laughs> Looking at cutting a 10 ball, maybe. Yeah. It's a good shot. I think I, I think he had. I mean it was it was tough, but I think that was the right shot. Well that really opens things up a lot now. If he can make that 12 ball, it's uh Well, he can shoot it now. I didn't think he could. I figured he'd have to take the 13. Well, I don't see. <laughs> I don't see. I mean, it's like 13, Pretty 14, much shooter's choice at this point. So. 11, 15, 8. Shake hands. See you tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> He's just trying to think about what angle he wants down for the 11 and the, the 15. Yeah, it's a little straight. I thought he would. I thought he would leave a cut angle so he could come off the top rail and back. Yeah, down. he was actually, I think, trying to come out a little further. He's going to oh, go so side he could come rail and side. over. I see. Uh, it's kind of mm -hmm. where he pointed. Yeah, I was kind of thinking he would get to where he could just follow between the seven and the one. Right. And yeah. Come mm -hmm. down between the one and the four, but. He did about half of what we would have done, what <laughs> he was trying to do. On to plan B here. Let's see. Well, looks like he's going to play the, the 11, 11 yeah. and then come back for the 14. Well, he would sure like to leave. You can bet he would sure like to leave that. Uh, well, well, looks he's like gonna he's going to have to shoot it now. Shoot the 15. Yeah, he, he would have loved to have been, been able to leave that 15 ball as the key ball to the 8 ball. but Well, this is where he hasn't played a whole lot of 8 ball, I don't think. It's not really. They play more of the rotation games in the Philippines, and so his patterns aren't quite yet what you see from some of the better bar table players, but... He just shoots so good. <laughs> okay, now he's going to play our shot. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty natural angle. Just come off the rail and kind of down table. He'll go up, come down between the one and the four. Probably try to get at least even if not a little further down than the side pocket. I was going to say, just stay out of the side and you're good. Yeah. That is a very makeable, nice shot. I'm sure he's, he's happy to be shooting it. And 
And there it is. James, James Arenas. Arenas takes the hot seat in the eight ball division here at the U.S. Bar Table. All right, we will be back at 8.30 with one more match. It will be loser side action.